Congress. Long ago, we used to live in a little, when I was a boy, I lived in a little bitty old cabin, and they had just a loft upstairs. Had one bed downstairs, and Papa and Mama slept on that. And there's four of us children at that time, and we had a, a like a straw tick laying down with a, a feather tick laying on top of that. And then Mama used to take and put blankets over us at night and all the coats. And then she'd take a big piece of canvas and stretch over the top of us because great big cracks in the side of the wall and old clapboard shingles was almost off the house. And when it would snow or rain, we'd get wet. And we little Branhams would have to duck our heads under that piece of canvas like a rabbit going under a brush pile when it start raining or something. And we were, and at nighttime sometime, the draft through there would give us cold. And Mama would holler at morning, I could hear her say, Oh, Billy, get up and come on down. You got to get ready to go to school. You and Edward, come on. The little fellows could sleep later. And I'd try to get my eyes open, and my eyes would be stuck together. And I'd say, Mama, I can't see. And she'd say, Oh, you got matter in them. What was the matter? The draft crossing this way had give us cold in her eyes. And we couldn't see that it would swell up during the night and we couldn't see because it was all matter over. And Mama, the cure all around our house was a little cup of coon grease. Mama, Grandpa was a trapper and hunter. I come from a line of hunters. My mother's mother uh, come off the reservations, Cherokee Indian and Tennessee. And when... Uh, Grandpa would catch these coons while they would they would render the grease out of them before they eat them, and then this grease was almost a, a cure all around our house. Oh, it was good for the croup at night with turpentine on it or a little coal oil, and then they rubbed it on her chest for a massage when we had asafidity hanging on it also, and it was to keep the coal away and then. A, Papa's shoes begin to leak in the snow while they'd put the coon grease on the stove and fix his shoes. It was almost a cure-all. It worked somehow. I don't know. But Mom would say to us, just a minute till I get the coon grease on the stove. And she'd get a, the old tin cup and set the coon grease on the stove and get it warm and come up and massage her eyes with it until our eyes come open. It worked. I don't know how, but... We, our eyes got open. Well, brother, I'll tell you, the coon grease might have worked all right for that kind of a natural sight. But we've had a great cold spell in the church. And I'm afraid somebody's got some spiritual coldness in their eyes. It'll take more than coon grease to get it out. That's right. But God said, counsel to me, I've got some eyes saved for you. I can open that eye door to you. I'll open your eyes. Now, what is salve? It's oil. It's hardened. Well, that's what the grease that God has for your eyes is oil. And oil is the Holy Spirit in the Bible.